Wow, how's everybody doing? Hey, I'm really excited today. Today's a special day because it's 5-1-2018. And I'll tell you exactly why that's important here in just a second. It's got something to do with the journal, which is very important. But I wanted to just uh, tell you the reason why I, you know, try to, you know, get a better job and try to start businesses and do what I do so I'll have plenty of cash. And uh, what I do is... Uh, I teach art to, uh, as a hobby, I teach art to uh, kids that are having a tough time, self-esteem, kids with Down syndrome, things like that. And they've won all kinds of awards at the fair, right in there with all the rest of the adults and everything. It's really quite amazing. Uh, and so I just thought I'd make the, the earth a better place when I, as, you know, when I go, I'll leave it at a better place than I found it. So uh, I think the key is to help these kids build self-esteem and help them out. And I've uh, been doing that for 15, 20 years now. So. If you want to find anything more about that, if you find it interesting at all, you can go to ICanDrawPortraits.com, click the media tab, and it'll talk, uh, the, you know, I think the newspaper magazine articles tell the story better than I can, okay? So you check that out. And I thought in the videos, uh, we'll get right to the uh, success stuff in just a minute, right? Watch my other videos. You're thinking, wow, look at all the money that guy lost in the last two videos. You know, success isn't always about money, even though it would have been nice to keep some, some, of, some of those millions I tossed away, but uh, I learned an awful lot, and uh, I'll do things differently the next time around. But also, I want to tell you a quick little funny story. The word of the day is a word in Russian. I speak Russian. My wife's Ukrainian, so I learned Russian, but I thought this was so funny. My sister Lou is an attorney and travels a lot, and her and her husband... Ha, uh, went to the Trans-Siberian Railroad there in Russia and went all the way across, you know, Russia. And you can do it, it took 12 days, it's crazy. But she said that she knew when she seen the sign, uh, she would ask them for a pectopon, she knew that meant restaurant. And I thought that was so cute and so interesting. And uh, I just thought, if you said it, pectopon, they know what you mean because they know you're pronouncing it. It's really funny. You they know you're pronouncing it with the English phonetics, but at the acrylic alphabet, you know, the, uh, the P, that's what's so crazy about the acrylic alphabet in Russian, the P actually is pronounced with an R, a R sound, or a R, you roll it. And the C is actually pronounced with the S sound, the E is E, it's okay, but the C in Russian is an S sound, like our word uh, city center, for instance, we use a S in certain words, you know, we say the C as an S, but it's never a C, it's always S, T is T, O is O, and there we are with the R, the P again, which is a R sound, and then you got the A, which is an A, the N in Russian is a, in the acrylic alphabet is N, like our, you know, it's pronounced like an N, an H is an N, I guess, sounds like an N, so you got pectopon, according to my sister. Well, she knew the acrylic alphabet and the Russian phonetics are even more phonetics than us, it would be restaurant, <laughs> or restaurant, restaurant, so it's almost like restaurant, and if she would have said it in restaurant, they know but it's funny because they also know we, we call it a peckle pot, but it's actually restaurant. Anyway, I thought that was funny. I thought I'd point that out. Also, we're always going to talk about this. The, uh, the key there to, to uh, if you're trying to read those uh, self-help books, you know, like uh, uh, Think and Grow Rich, uh, Seven Strategies for Wealth and Happiness. I'm getting into the goal setting. I'm going to still, still working on that. And that's kind of difficult, but I'll show you how I was doing because I got a different real estate properties in different unique situations and, and houses I finance to people. So, you know, uh, but the key that is kind of left out in the books, according to Vic Johnson, Vic Johnson explains it better to me on YouTube, okay? But he says the, the key, the real key is you have a little desire and you have a little faith or belief, you know, you got an idea or whatever, personal growth or business or whatever, you know? Just have a little desire, a little faith. Make just a little action, okay? Like I bought that book, the... And, uh, you know, the uh, richest man in Babylon it takes 15 minutes to read it. And that's what kind of inspired me. Well, damn it, you know, you know, Jim Rohn's right. You know, he said he went to a company a couple times and people, he, he goes, I, I was here last year and only 5% of you, 3 to 5% of you bought the book. It only takes 15 minutes to, to read. Uh, it only costs, you know, three or four, five, six bucks. Uh, why haven't you done it? So it kind of spoke to me. So that was my little bit of action, a little bit of desire, a little faith, have a little bit of action. And the key is this little bit of action will feed more desire. That's the key. Action will feed desire. And you'll eventually get a red-hot desire. And I'm still working on that, but I can tell you, at least I'm doing a damn video, right? Also, uh, 
uh, the channel there on YouTube, Refusing to Settle by Carl Kegley. He's got a, uh, a life, uh, that it stands for life, and it's rest, play, work, yet should have a balance, okay? And, <laughs> and you got my quote that I'm going to try to remember. I put down the, you watched my last video, and I'll try to throw a little story in for this. A disgust is a beautiful thing. When you finally get disgusted, either with yourself or somebody, uh, disgust is a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful motivator, okay? I can remember when I was at Unilever, making 18 bucks an hour, working 60, 70, 80 hours a week, make 70 or 80,000, no time, no time for rest, no time for play, okay? Just work. Got four kids, and three or four kids, what do you do, you know? But uh, I know that those people, if you ever work for the Europeans away, they want to run a company. Not an American company that they bought, like when InBev bought Budweiser, I call those poor people. They go in there and just start laying off by the thousands, engineers, management, man. They just like a, they just have a layoff party and cost-cutting party. They just hate the way we do business. Because it ain't, I'll tell you what, if you work for a European company, the only good one I heard that people talk good about was uh, Ikea. But Unilever, I know, for seven hard years in the trenches, is that all they're trying to do in their manufacturing facilities is all you are, there's not one employee in that building, trust me, is an asset. All you are is a piece of shit liability. I just can't put it any other way. You're just a piece of shit liability they're either trying to downsize, eliminate, or get rid of. If you owned the shirt off your back when you balanced your assets and liabilities after working for a Unilever manufacturing plant for 30 years, I knew a teamster worked there after 30 years, all he had left, no matching 401ks, no sick pays, no nothing. The only, Unilever, only Unilever companies have that as companies they bought in the USA and they, they just have to deal with it. But they do it their way, you won't have nothing. But anyway, poor guy worked there 30 years, his retirement was $686, you know. But uh, if all you owned was the shirt off your back, after when you retire, if you still owned your shirt after you added up your assets and liabilities and, and your bank account and everything, and all you had owned was a little t-shirt on your back, you would have been a piece of shit that stole from them. This goddamn thing. Okay, well, sorry for that little outburst, my, uh, Flash shut off, I guess my battery, I don't know, this crazy thing. Anyway, but if all you owned was the shirt on your back, when you retired, you were a piece of shit that stole from them. That's the bottom line. That's how they treat you. So, you know, that would disgust you if you work there and you're trapped there and you actually don't quite have a, all your high school diploma. It makes you go to school at night, it makes you go take classes. You know, now I got a job to where I make, you know, 46 bucks an hour. And I went to school, and I got a tutor, and I bettered myself, and now I have a good job in 401ks and all that good stuff. But if I hadn't got disgusted at them people, it would have never happened. But anyway, I just thought I'd uh, throw that all in there. Sorry. Uh, back to the journal. What is today? Today is 5-1-2008. This is the journal. Journal. Launch day. Okay. Not that I started journal, but this is where it starts. Thank you, Clark Kegley, with Refusing to Settle. 2018-19. Go watch my other videos if you want to know a little bit more about this stuff. I use the months, not days. That's how many months I left till, left till I'm 90. But I wanted to... The other videos show that, the last two, so go read it. I don't want to repeat all that. But what I'm basically going to do is... Uh, with refusing to settle, he's got a program if you need more coaching and, and he can pay for that. That's his business and I, I would uh, pay him uh, for what the value you get there from Clark Kegley with refusing to settle on YouTube is very well done or refusing to settle.com uh, also. Uh, basically, I just wanted to show you something here on page 115 uh, on my journal. This is a very, the very launch date will be tomorrow. Now, I have been using the journal already for uh, I'm starting a new business and I have to get certifications, so uh, these are my notes from the certification guidebook. That's going to be in the journal. But basically, I wanted to, well, all I want to do is talk about today was, uh, might have to redo it since the stupid flash quit working. We'll see what happens. But anyway, daily routine, page 115. You know, this is not goals. 
This is <laughs> a different routine. I've got walking and exercise. I'm getting up 45 minutes earlier. I'm getting to work an hour before start time. I got the first hour planned at work, okay? And uh, if I have some free time at work, I'm doing this, this, and this. I got my schedule set up. When I get home, eat dinner, 4 to 6.30, work on projects, home or real estate, other houses that need work, I'll give it two and a half, three hours. Uh, walk with wife on river. Uh, we live close to the river here, so we've been doing hour walking, uh, half hour sit-ups, exercise, shower, uh, videos, uh, that kind of thing. This is quite different. The walking every night and the exercise will be new. Getting up early, I've done that for the last three or four days or last couple weeks, actually. Uh, but this ain't a goal. I just wanted to say, this is my point. It's not a goal. Okay, goals are, you know, there's some things in here that are different. But you need to set up a daily routine and stick to it. And I'm going to make myself stick to it. And then I'm going to start uh, working on my goals tomorrow and try to lay that out for real estate and how I'm going to try to, you know, set up each property for what they need to be done and start setting up, plan each day the day before. And I'm going to start that tomorrow. But anyway, get you a daily routine set up. Go to work a little early. Do some reading. I'm doing my reading at work. Uh, on my books, you know, the books and building my library. But anyway, have a have a nice day. Thanks so much for your time. Go check out IcanDrawPortraits.com if you want. There's nothing for sale there. I'm not trying to sell you nothing. Just trying to tell you my journey, my story. Uh, it's an interesting one for sure. But uh, go to IcanDrawPortraits.com. Click on the media tabs. If you got anything to add on how to work with kids and stuff, you'd just be amazed. I've been teaching them art and, you know, I've... In the beginning, it wasn't that good, but I'm expert level at it now. It's kind of a neat story. But anyway, check it out. Have a nice night. Thank you much for your time.